Hello, everyone. This is from Milwaukee to Nashville. I am Daniel Goodman, and over there is John Lewandowski. Our show is brought to you by the wonderful folks at Hockey Locker, 2002 West Howard Avenue, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. You can call them at 414-800-7585 or visit their website at hockeylockermilwaukee.com. Today we have one game for you. That is the Admirals versus the San Diego Gold. Oh. All right. Shots on goal in the first period. Milwaukee outshoots San Diego 8-6. to six. In the second period, San Diego outshoots Milwaukee 14-9. to nine. In the third period, Milwaukee outshoots San Diego 10-5. to five. In overtime, both teams had a shot. Or overtime, both teams had a shot. Uh, and in total, Milwaukee outshoots San Diego 28-26. On the power play, San Diego goes 0-for-1 with 6 minutes 3 infractions, while Milwaukee goes 0-for-3 with 2 minutes 1 infraction. Uh, scoring in the first period for the Admirals at the 1542 mark is Liam Foody, scoring his fourth of the year on the shorthand, assisted by Yusuf Parson in his third. Then in the second period at the 254 mark for San Diego, Sa Sasha Pastuja scores his fourth goal, assisted by Trevor Carrick, his 23rd, and Luca Profaka, his first. Then at the 438 mark, the Admirals get on the board again with Liam Foody's second goal of the night, fifth of the year, assisted by Cal O'Reilly, his 13th. That was also his third, uh, that was also uh, an assist in his 300th game. Yeah. As an apple. Uh, then scoring at the 12.43 mark was Judd Caulfield. He scored his seventh with an assist from Chase DeLeo, his tenth, and Glenn Gauden, his twelfth. Then Pavel Raganda scored his fifteenth with the assist from Nikita Nestorinko, his fifteenth, and Andrew Agazino, his twenty-second. Then at the third, at the two-minute mark, Mark Dugaizo scores his sixth with an assist from Fedor Svenskov, his 16th, and Chester Weatherby, his eighth. And in overtime, scoring the hat trick, Liam Foody. Foody with his sixth of the season with an assist from Yusuf Parson in his fourth, and Mark Dugaizo, his 17th. Admirals win 11th straight. Now, the team record is 13. Uh, we will be going for 12 on Friday. Come on out. Um, Admirals Hawaiian shirt night. Ugh. In net for the San Diego Gulls was Thomas Sukanik. He stopped 24 of 20, 28. In net for the Admirals was Brookfield native Troy Grosnick, or as we call him, Goose. He stopped 23 of 26. Oh. Assistance at the Panther Arena was 4,520. Uh, your referees were non existent, but Jared Ragnison and Peter Tarnas, both of them can go do a different job. You failed the uh, eyesight test. Uh, linesmen were Russell Jordan and Abraham Ifram. All righty. So carrying on to what we were talking about yesterday on our show, um, we were talking about guys' contracts being up relatively soon all right so nashville contract just for guys who are ending now now um we do have a couple other things that kind of need to be done but we'll get into that in a second <clears throat> um um 
So before before we get into that, Nashville next year will have over fourteen or let's see, one point. Let's see. Uh, almost eleven million in dead cap. So, but these are the players they have to play. Yakov Trenin, Philip Tomasino, Dennis Giriadov, Tommy Novak, Michael McCarron, Kiefer Sherwood, Tyson Berry, who probably won't be here. Um, Alexander Carrier and Dante Fabro, who's an RFA. That's oh, and um, Kevin Lankin. Um, end of contracts in the A is Yusuf Harsinet, Igor Afanasyev, uh, Mark Jankowski, Jasper Weatherby, and Liam Foody. Um, uh, defensively, it is Spencer Statsny, Mark Del Geizo, and Adam Wilfie. Along with Jordan Gross and Roland McEwen. Um, my my humble belief would be that Del uh, Geizo, whether or will yeah, Willsby and Statsny will all be back. I doubt that Gross or McEwen reside. Uh Troy Grossnick also um in that department as well. Um then once we get into that, we got the reserve list. Um, Graham Sword has to be signed by June 1st, or he can re-enter the draft. Just a heads up. Um, Luke Reed has to be signed by August 15th. Uh, Chase McClain, same thing. Ethan Hader, Gunnar Wolf Fontaine, and Alexander Campbell all have the August 15th sign date of 2024. Um, how do I put this? What would be your prediction for the current moment? How many of these guys do you think sign? Like, let's just get into it. Like, if we're going to go this route, try to sign him or let him go. Probably sign. Obviously, Tomasino's an RFA. I believe he's not going anywhere. Um, Gary on off. I don't know. That's a tough one. He's had a pretty good year. Yeah, I'm saying about like I agree. If he signs, a lot of these are tough because they're having good years this year. Tommy Novak. I'd expect them to, yeah. You know, the problem is, is you're gonna have to let guys go somewhere, and and, and right. I, I have the feeling that it's gonna be Sherwood or McCarron, if not both. Yeah. Um, Barry, as we know, is wanting to be traded. Um. Uh, Carrier, I, I, I think it's time to move on. Sadly, I think it's time to move Fabro. I just don't think he fits the system. Right. Um. So make a little move, shuffle things around. Um. Lankin and we know he's gone. Ain't no way they resigned him with Yarrow in the wing. Um. AHL is more of a question mark. Um, I'm sure Igor resigns. I'm sure Parson and resigns. Both of those guys know that their future is very bright in Nashville. Uh, Jankowski, I, I doubt he resigns, but it would be nice. Yeah. I can see whether me and Foodie resigning. Um, Statsy, Del Geizo, and Willsby. Statsy and Del Geizo will be in Nashville next year. There's no question about that. The only way grocery sides is if Nashville wants him up there as well. Um, as Braval has signed a two-year, two-way extension 
Um, he said that earlier in the last week or so. Um, you got guys like Prokop and Batir, Livingstone, obviously next year you, you got those guys. Um, I would see that Grab Sward would be the perfect guy to sign. Um, I am I am very curious. Uh, Nashville has twenty six players in reserve and forty five players under contract. So they have five roster spots they could use at the current moment. Um. Out of this, I could see Aiden Fink signing. The only reason I say that is Nashville's going to want him fairly quickly. Um, if some of these guys don't sign, I wouldn't be surprised. Uh, Austin Roast, I wouldn't be surprised to see them sign him. Or... Anton Olison or Cole O'Hara or there's so many guys. Um uh, Konstantin Volkov, Vladislav Yeramenko, and Simeon Chisikov all have um Contracts overseas, I do not know to the extent of what they are. Let's see if I can find it. All right. Uh, that is not what I wanted. All right. Oh. Uh... Um, I also wouldn't be surprised to see them try and get Matthew Wood up and going. Yeah. Uh, All right, Simeon Chishikov is signed through 2023-24 with Avangardo Minsk. His contract will end then. Uh, Vladislav Yermenko's contract ends at the end of this year as well. Um and Konstantin Volkov's contract ends next year. By that time, he will be 27, 28, 28, he will be. By the time that season rolls around, he will be 28. Um, but it should be, I'm confused. Don't mind me if I'm, look like I'm gazing off of actually reading.
Uh, hey, buddy. From retirement to currently playing, Auntie Pilstrom. Uh, hey, buddy. Admiral's alumni, Auntie Pilstrom. He's coming out of retirement to play. That's cool. Um, yeah, right now it looks bone silent, but that's right now. Um, so, on our last show, which I believe is, what's our last show this weekend before break? I don't know. Friday. Think Friday. Friday? Okay. All right. On Friday, we will be doing it in the system. Yes, I know. I could be doing it right now. I don't feel like it. <laughs> it's it's not that it, it's that I'm letting them do their games this week during the week and you know let the games happen before we make um the statistics. By the way, I so apologize. I didn't do the three stars. I apologize. Well, it's an off day. I got to remind you. Huh? Okay. It's okay. It's a Tuesday. How often do we have to do this on a Tuesday? Right. That's not the Preds. The Preds play a lot on Tuesdays. Um, Third star of the game was Yusuf Harson and with two assists. Uh, second star of the game was Judd Caulfield. He had a goal and Liam. Oh, with the hat trick. It was pretty uh, foregone conclusion who the number one star was. Um, around the league, there were only three games in the A. Uh, Manitoba beat Rockford four to one, widening that gap. Um, Ontario, uh, Colorado beats Ontario for oh nope, they're still going. Okay. Um, so what's this do to the league standings? So we are 12 points ahead. Sorry about that. Uh, we are 12 points ahead of the Texas Stars who are getting chased down by the Grand Rapids Griffins. <coughs> um, who are 5-0-1 oh, in their last, in their current streak, and 7-2-1 in their last 10. Oh, man, it's almost won three straight. We play them on Friday. Don't overlook that team just because they only have 15 wins. Do not overlook that team. That team will be looking to come out and play spoiler. The only team that the Admirals have games in hand on are the Iowa Wild. They have played 41. League-wise, the Admirals have put themselves into third place. The only team that is going to be giving them headaches is the Hershey Bears because they have 70 points. Um, with the four games in hand would put the Admirals at two, four, six, eight. So... Eight points 
on the table towards Providence and Hershey, who are number one and number two. Providence actually has played more games than we have at 44 games completed. Sorry about that. So, uh, the team in... So, oh. one, two, three, four, five, six. Out of the bottom six, one, two, three, four teams in our division are in the bottom six in the league. Yeah, four teams in our division in the bottom six of the league, and Texas is 13th. Yeah. Coachella is right behind us with 41 games played. Um. Also, uh, the Admirals uh, currently hold the longest win streak of the entire AHL season this year. So, um, you know, well, now that the uh, proverbial monkey is gone and that thing's been kicked down the hill, um, how's it feel to have a team go perfect in a month? <laughs> we haven't had to be mad at them once the whole month. The admirals have not, um, Lost since New Year's Eve. <laughs> um, on that also note, uh, what else we got here? Oh, sorry, John, I'm kind of dragging. Um, there we go. Uh -huh. All right, February 2nd, autograph corner, pizza night, Hawaiian shirts. Two man advantage, you'll get a ticket to a brewer game and an Admirals game for 34 bucks. Also, coming up, you have Jackson Dean, February 22nd, country concert. Country music star Jackson Dean. That's a stretch. I'm sorry. Um, February 13th, come on out. Wedding weekday. It is there. Um, February 10th is Cheap Trick. Which John will be at that game? If I remember correctly. Yeah. And like I said, so February is kind of a light month in game department for the Admirals. Uh, quite a few road games actually. So uh, we thank you all for watching, and we will see you all tomorrow. Tomorrow, when the Preds play the Kings. Um, and then the Preds go on break. Um, I, I, honest opinion: if they drop this to the Kings. With games in hand, where they've played more than the Kings have. Mm -hmm. 
Do you think this hurts their chances down the line? I don't know, man. A lot can change. You you see teams that don't do well before the All Star break do well after. I mean, that happens all the time. So you never really know. I mean, I've seen teams that are really good before the All Star break just totally tank and miss the playoffs. So <clears throat> us last year. <laughs> <laughs> We almost missed the playoffs last year. Um, but yeah, I mean, lots of questions, not a lot of answers. Um, but yep, yeah, all righty. Um, beyond that. Um, <laughs> um, in that case, also, I will be, uh, what else we got? Oh, yes. Um, there's a day in Yep, that's what I thought. In March, um that we will be doing a show extra late. Um I believe it'll be live, but it'll be late. John, you know what day in March. The kid's birthday. Uh -huh. So. But, alrighty. Um, yeah, the... What is that? The Admirals have... So the Admirals play at home on the 2nd, the 10th, the 9th, of the 10th of February, the 9th of February, the 13th, and then we go on the road to Manitoba, to Chicago, and then we're back on the 24th, and then that's, that's literally it. So... Yeah, the 24th, the 13th, 10th, 9th, and 2nd. So, not a whole lot to go on for the month of February. I apologize. Um, also, enjoy your week of Hockey Free as of next week. Y'all won't be seeing us. We are definitely taking time off. <laughs> we if you can't tell me and John are both um like the time just keeps dragging on. <laughs> so thank you all for watching. Me and John would love nothing more than to hit our pillow after going a month of just <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> So let's do it for another month. Me and John need a good sleep. See y'all tomorrow. <laughs>